Now, the birth of your first baby is a very confusing time. It's a great time, but it's a confusing time when you can be left wondering whether you're doing the right thing, are you doing things right? I mean, you just don't know. It's your first baby. Now, that is where baby consultant Trish Martin comes in. Morning, Trish. Morning, now. So when you go and see people for the first time, what are the common issues that you address? Well, definitely the first one is def like sleep, lack of sleep. Um, often the you know sleep deprivation is deemed to be normal. Um, but for me, it's like, you know, mums need their sleep, babies need their sleep. So sleep, and then comes the feeding, you know, difficulty with breastfeeding, um, even just knowledge with bottle feeding. And then a big thing also is anxiety with mums and the self-confidence that they lose um, oh. becoming a new mum. And you're just really so worried about this precious little bundle that you brought into the world and, yep. and to look after them and make sure that they're all perfect. It is quite a terrifying, yet also a time of elation as well. Absolutely. So what are the biggest mistakes that the new mums make? Um, I think the biggest mistake is just taking their own um, their own initiative, their yeah. own intuition. So there's so much information out there, there's so much conflicting information out there. Um, that often mums feel that even though they've got their natural instinct there, they don't want to go with that because, you know, they want to you know, somebody else is saying this, so I'll go with that. Not necessarily, yeah, you know, it you, goes with the family. You almost take fit too in. much advice Absolutely. on board, don't yeah, you? Yeah. And what is fitting for your friend might not necessarily be the right fit for you yeah, in the way that exactly you're parenting. Right. Yeah. And also establishing how you're going to parent your little yes. baby as yeah. well and work yeah. out all those sort of things. Mm. I, I think one of the most stressful times for any new mum or new parent is when your newborn baby cries. Yeah. But you've got a handy way to deal with that. I have. I um, teach my mums, all my mums, the word tap. Um, often they get told that do not allow your baby to cry um, and I think it's very hard because babies cry for all different reasons it's not only just for hunger they cry for being overtired um, overstimulated so the word tap is just tea for time give themselves you know time go and grab yourself a coffee even though you're hearing your baby cry a little bit um, and then A is for assess assess the situation what time of day it is you know how long was um, the last feed you know how good was the last feed um, and then P just plan and prioritise mm. so yeah so that just gives you a little bit of time to just not go and rush in and just attend to your baby definitely attend to your baby when they're crying but just give yourself a little bit of time it's hard to know how much time you should be leaving them. that's a really nice little thing tap to mm. think about because mm. uh, when they're crying and it all goes straight to you you just yes. feel that shiver yeah. down your spine yeah. when your little yeah. baby cries yeah uh, there's also the people that say control crying is a good thing as well um, I think controlled, controlled crying, crying is okay, um, but I think it just very much depends on how long they want to leave Bubby. So some mums are able to leave babies for a couple of minutes, others are able to leave them for 10 minutes. So it's really up to the individual mum to make that decision on how long they feel comfortable with leaving Bubbies to cry. It comes so, down to trusting yep. your intuition, like Absolutely. you were talking about before. Yep. So yep. what about dads, new dads, where do they fit into the equation? Um, I think dads um, need to be able to feel confident looking after newborns as well, and often what I hear is is dads feel left out um, you know they're only home for a couple of weeks after the birth of Bubby and then they head off back to work and it's really difficult for dads to get into that sort of parenting um, mode and often they feel just as um, lack of confidence as, as the mums do so I think it's very important that the dads get included in every aspect of, of Bubby um, and you know if baby cries allow dads to actually be part of settling and mm. burping and bathing your baby and that kind of thing oh, yeah. so oh, yeah. my, my, my husband had the perfect technique he could settle my children when I couldn't he just had this arm where he'd carry them in this yeah. perfect position and they just loved it would yeah. fall asleep every time yeah uh, but I think dads these days are very much a part of baby's life which is a really good yes thing. and I think it's very important if that they are part of um, the baby's life and that it allows mum to actually go out for half an hour go and grab a coffee go yeah. out to a cafe and feel confident that dads are absolutely fine looking after bubs yep. so that's very Makes important world of difference mm. well that's some really great advice yeah. for you mums Trish thank you so much for coming thank in you. today uh, and being on the cafe enlightening now Trish has a workshop coming up in Auckland next month go to her website for details